Yeah, thank you. I'll take it from here. Change in the political world is the heart of a new documentary. The two-part series is called And She Could Be Next, describing a defiant movement of women of color transforming politics from the ground up. Sisters and brothers, it's about building power in our community to win what is right. Except the communities that need to be brought in reflect the new American majority. They're young, they're brown, they might speak another language. And there's a lot of us. Oh. I'm excited about the fact that women of color are now coming into our own, that we're standing up and taking our rightful place in the pantheon of leadership, that we're changing what the face of leadership looks like. Joining us now are the director and producer Marjan Safinia and, and State Senator Maria Elena Durazo. Welcome to both of you. So happy to have you with us this morning. You both are in two different locations. So we'll begin with Marjan. Uh, Marjan, the timing of this is just so perfect. And I know you've been working on this for quite a while. But right now, the importance of people who represent us to look like us, to relate to us, to understand us, you timed it just right. Yeah, I mean, we started working on this late 2016, 2017. So, um, you know, we hadn't, we didn't have a crystal ball. We'd have no idea, you know, about the very specific moment that we find ourselves in. But um, the larger moment we understood because, you know, the the face of America is changing. We, as a country, there's a rapidly shifting demographic. And there was a huge gulf in, um, you know, the difference between what the people are look, look like and who the leaders look like. Uh, and it's not just about how you look. It's about an understanding of sort of lived experiences, shared lived experiences of the struggles that people are facing and how leadership can be writing policy to help people's lives thrive. Yes, this perfectly captured um, just each woman and their personal stories that they had as to why they decided to pursue public office, what in their own life made them want to help others, the need for this. Um, how did you decide who to highlight? You know, we, it was important to us that we really told the story of a movement. Um, while there, you know, we have a lot of fantastic uh, women who ran for office, including Senator Durazo. Uh, we also really talk about organizers across the country. So it is a movement for change that's coming. Um, and so we wanted to have geographic diversity, um, ethnic diversity, diversity like people running for small local seats and, you know, big um, you know, national seats. We follow Stacey Abrams, who was running for governor, which was perhaps the biggest race. Um, so we were looking for a diversity of issues and, and places, but also um, women who were rooted in movement, women who had come to political, running for political office out of a lifetime of fighting for social justice around some of the issues that are most troubling in the country right now. And speaking of State Senator DeRazo, one of the women highlighted in this piece, uh, Senator DeRazo, you talk about the fact that it is so important not just to work so hard on the outside, and we see so many people doing that, but to get in the inside, because that is where policy change is made, and that is where you can really make the change. Absolutely. All of the issues that we're taking on in the Capitol and the legislature are issues that are connected on the ground with real, real families who are struggling to get by, real families that um, see th their sons uh, getting killed in the streets and with police brutality. They want to do something about it. Uh, the, the ones that know what it's like to be a garment worker or a domestic worker or a hotel housekeeper to say they need protections, they need a safety net, just like everybody else. So we've, we, it doesn't do any good to come from an office where you're sitting there and studying policy. How about policy that comes out of real women fighting for these issues on the ground, showing enormous courage. Uh, and that's what I saw in this film, mm -hmm. uh, what they were highlighting in this film. So grateful that this was put together mm -hmm. by such a diverse group of women. Absolutely. And also, uh, you echo this uh, in the part that you are shown and something we've heard echoed uh, on the streets for the past month or so with protests, the importance of voting. Yes. Yes. And yes. State it's Senator, voting, you want to talk about why uh, it's, it's important first, it's people being vote? Active, 
<laughs> yes, it's important to to get people to vote because I got elected, and the other women got elected, and others got elected. But it's also to to know that you have uh, power in your hands when you exercise your vote. It's the same thing about getting out to uh, fill out the census. There's power in filling out the census. There's power for our communities to get the issue, the things that we so much need. Funding for education, representation, uh, funding for our uh, transportation, public transportation. There's so many things that are at stake with doing a simple thing like filling out the census, a simple thing like going to vote. Yes, and it really struck me what you said um, when you were in this piece. You said it is our responsibility. People need to know that it is worth their time to leave their homes and go cast a vote because we need to restore the faith and the hope when it comes to voters. And I think that is so true. And the film just so beautifully captured all of these different women. It was truly inspiring, and I encourage everyone to check it out. Thank you so much for the both of you for your time this morning, Marjan and State Senator DeRazo. And she she Could Be Next airs tonight on PBS and at POV.org.